Hi and welcome back. This is Sarah Fuentes and I'm really happy that you're here on our page again because we're going to jump right into another lesson on dividing with fractions. And today's big question is, can you just divide fractions from left to right like multiplication? And we started thinking about this because every kid when it comes to fractions, we know it's hard, but multiplying fractions is the most fun operation to do because it seems like the easiest. Adding, subtracting is super hard. Division, there's all this reciprocal stuff going on. But when you multiply, it seems to make sense because when you multiply, all you're doing is going from left to right. We're just multiplying our numerators together and our denominators together. So take a look with this example up here. All I'm doing is 2 times 2 to get 2 times 1 to get 2 and 3 times 4 to get 12. And I'm just getting 2 over 12 and 1 6. That's all I'm doing. So even if I have another example, even if I picked 3 8 times 9 over 10, again, I'm just going right across numerator times numerator, 27 over 80. So that's what's really easy about this. You can have to simplify, but pretty simple. So why can't division work like this? And the more I thought about it, I figured, well, why can't it? So we're going to jump right in. What if we just did the same thing with division that we did with multiplication? And I'm going to start with an easy example with numbers that really work. If I have 6 8 and 1 4, could I just divide straight across? And then we're going to just check and see if it's true. 6 divided by 1 is 6. 8 divided by 4 is 2. And I know that this is improper. 3. If you're stuck on improper fractions, we can help you with that. So what if I did it um, the traditional way and I just multiply by the reciprocal, I just take the second part back here and I just flip it and this is keep, change, and I'm flipping this over. Uh, that's how I'm getting my numbers. Six times four is 24 and eight times one is eight. And this also simplifies to three. So, so far this works, so numbers that are easy, but what about numbers that are not easy? So, for example, 5 times 7 divided by 2 thirds. Um, so we'll do the traditional algorithm first where we just multiply by the reciprocal. And I flipped it, and I know this is supposed to be 15 over 14, which is 1 and 1 14. So watch what I'm kind of going to do in this example. I have no idea. I can't do 5 divided by 2 without getting a really weird number. I can use a calculator um, and get... 2.5 and I can use a calculator for 7 divided by 3 and I'm going to get an even uglier number uh, 7 divided by 3 I'm going to get 2.33 repeated so that doesn't seem to work it's probably true but it doesn't really seem to work for what we want our purposes so what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to think just kind of like adding and subtracting what if I change my denominators to a common one and I'm going to use 21 because I know 7 times 3 makes 21. And I'm going to use my math facts to just change the first one. Uh, 3 7s make 21. 3 5s makes 15. 7 3s make 21. 7 2s makes 14. And when I divide across, I know that 21 divided by 21 is 1. And in my top one, 15 divided by 14 is going to give me 1. And I'm going to have a remainder of 1 over 14. And this is where you kind of have to just remember you're thinking anything divided by 1 is just the same number. So I still have 1 over 14. So it is absolutely true. Uh, we don't have to always multiply by the reciprocal. But if you know traditional algorithms like I do are meant to be a little faster and fluid. So it's probably just always easier to just multiply by the reciprocal. But you can multiply and divide from left to right with fractions in the same way. Kind of cool. Well, let's try it with another example just to make sure we really got it. And I have 7 eighths divided by uh, 1 16th. Again, these numbers don't really seem to ha have an easy answer. I mean, I could do the top. 7 divided by 1 is 7. But I can't do 8 divided by 16 without getting a decimal. So we're going to do the other thing again. We're going to change my second fraction into a 16. Just because that's the common denominator. 2 eighths make 16. 14 eighths make 16. So I can divide now. 14 divided by 1 is 14, and 16 divided by 1 is 16, giving me 14 as an answer. 
and I can try the traditional way. 7 eighths divided by 1 16 is the same as 7 eighths times 16 over 1. Oh, God, this already looks really ugly. So I'm going to take my calculator out again just to do 7 times 16, and I'm getting 1 12. And I'm going to have to do some simplifying here. Um, because, of course, these numbers are really, really big. But I could also just use division. In this case, I think I'm going to try that. 112 divided by 8 gives me up oh, 14. So it does work. In this case, um, the easier way was just dividing from left to right. Well, I hope you found that pretty interesting. Another cool way of thinking about division with fractions. As always, we have new videos coming out on Tuesdays and Fridays. And if you want to get some more content or have more engagement with me, you can go to Math Mini Lessons on Facebook, where I'm going to experiment with some Facebook Live this week if I get some great questions. So if you have a question you would love to see me do live, just email me at mathminilessons.org, Sarah at mathminilessons.org, and maybe your question will come up on a future Facebook Live page. Have a great day, guys.